So over the past few weeks, I've been farming vending machines like a madman. I dread to actually think how many times I've actually looked inside of vending machines. Within my search, I have come across some super rare three times prefix items and today, I bring you all mine and a few of my subs most rare findings. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, so many thanks to each and every person who sent me an item that will be featured today from farming said vending machines because I know the grind it takes. But let's check out what we have here. Now the three times prefix items are some of the rarest items in the game. I've probably found one in every six or seven hours farming vending machines. So that shows you how rare these are. But let's firstly start with shields. Okay, so firstly we have the bullet hole shield. This is a shield with a three times prefix of trigger happy. What this does is give you plus 24% fire rate while shields are depleted. Now many shields like this one, although are super rare, ain't really in reality amazing on paper. I mean yes for sure, if you are working on a DPS build and fire rate is what you need, this for sure could help. But yeah guys, a super rare shield here in that bullet holes with that three times sugar happy, but in my opinion, definitely isn't the best that will be featured today. Next up we have the Keylonian shield. This one, unlike that last one we covered, this one does actually have its uses. With that three times turtle prefix, this one gives you a massive standard shield capacity of 22,000 plus. Now I've made a video on this shield already, as with my Zane, I was able to hit almost a 60k shield with this turtle shield, which is just a crazy, it's the highest I've seen on any Zane. So for sure people, this turtle shield, this Keylonian shield, is definitely one to keep an eye out for. It's a great addition to anyone's collection. Now all the individual videos I've made on the shields I will feature today, you'll find linked within the video description. In those videos, I take a deeper look into the better shields that will be featured today. Okay, so next up we have the Flash Protocol Shield, and this one offers three times that fleet prefix. So while shields are depleted, you gain 24% movement speed. This one for Zane could be a great feature. If you had that sentinel movement speed annoyment also, wow, that could be crazy. Next up, we have the impatient shield. This one has three times the prefix on delay. And as you can see, minus 50% recharge delay with a semi-decent capacity too. So this thing could be okay for certain builds. Next up is an almost perfect shield for Zane mains out there. And to be honest guys, this was the kind of shield I was looking for via farming these vending machines. I've been searching for that three times Vagabond prefix with the Sentinel movement speed anointment. This is the closest I have seen. I haven't seen anything closer. Well, I mean, you can't get anything closer. Now the three times Vagabond alone, I believe would offer 24% movement speed while shields are full. Pair that with that Sentinel anointment of 15% additional movement speed while Sentinel is active. That's basically 39, 40% movement speed from the shield alone, which is just utterly crazy. And it's why Mirza Zayn main is why I'm looking for this thing. If you have a three times Vagabond with that Sentinel anointment or ever come across it, please let me know. I play on Xbox. It needs to be an Xbox item and a level 53. But if you do have this, hit me up on my Discord, linked within the video description, or send me a message on Xbox. My gamer tag is I am DPJ. Well, that will be pretty cool, people. Okay, so next up we have the Ironside Shield. This has the three times prefix of fortified charge. When damage has a 25% chance to drop a fortified charge that grants 25% damage reduction. Now under my testing, these charges don't seem to stack, but the defense this thing offers is absolutely amazing, especially in places like the raid and slaughter shaft where we're being mauled by enemies and constantly being shot. This thing really does make a difference. I mean, 25% doesn't seem like much, but trust me guys, it is. And I can see this being amazing for certain builds out there. So the Ironside shield people, keep an eye out for it. Next up, we have the Kill Switch shield. Now this shield offering three times the prefix of power charge. This is one of the more powerful shields I will feature today. Although this variant has a low capacity, it's still super powerful as when damaged has a 25% chance to drop a power charge that increases weapon damage by 30%. Now these power charges do also stack and I believe you can stack up to 12 of these things at once. And although that would be quite difficult, it is possible and it means you have about 8 seconds of 300 plus damage output. Now me personally, I think this shield works better offering a constant damage buff instead of just trying to stack it. 
So this we see at its best within places like the raid and the slaughter shaft where plenty of enemies are firing at you, causing damage to yourself, meaning you're dropping these charges. So you will get a constant flow of 30 plus additional damage. Now this is another one I've made a video on already, which you'll find linked within the video description also, if you want to see more on this shield. Okay, so next up we have the Maximum Capacity Shield. This one with the triple prefix of Capacity. Weirdly though, this one is under half of that of the Turtle Shield, which in my opinion makes it a little useless compared. So we're going to move on and on to the Medicinal Shield. This one, like the Ironside Shield, dropping instead health charges, which replenish your health. Ironside, though, in my opinion, is the better shield due to an overall damage reduction. Both indeed are great shields, though, which should not be overlooked. Next up, we have the Mendel's Multivitamin Shield. This one with the triple prefix of health, and it gives you 50% plus max health, as well as plus 5% max health per second while shields are full. Not too bad of a defense shield we have here, guys. Next up we have the Mirror Shield, this one with the triple prefix of Reflect, 40% chance to reflect projectiles while shielded. And although this seems decent, the Legendary Recall Shield offers more in my opinion, making this one a little pointless if you have that. If not, it's a great shield. Next up we have the best featured shield today and it's the One Shutter Shield. So this shield has a triple prefix of Amp, while full drains 20% shields for 100% weapon damage. Now I've already made a couple of videos showcasing what this thing is capable of and I even made a Zane build around this thing, which is just ultimate in terms of boss farming. Again people, that video where I dive deeper into what this shield can offer, you'll find a link to it in the video description. But it is a great, great shield guys. I am on the lookout for one with that Sentinel Movement Speed Anointment. That would be absolutely incredible if you do have that and you play on xbox please hit me up and lastly for the shields today guys we have the supernova shield this with the triple prefix of nova triggers 24,074 damage when shields break which isn't a lot of damage if i'm honest i mean it looks high it looks mighty on paper but it isn't a lot this is a couple of shots of my q system if that but yeah guys those are the shields i come across today and have been sent uh, by a few of my subs which i'm super grateful for all of these were obtained from vending machines, if you are curious. Now we're going to move on to the triple prefix grenades I have come across. And firstly people we have the Amalgamator Exploder. This one with a triple prefix of a link, plus 50% damage for each enemy damaged. This is decent for grouped up mobs for sure, but it isn't amazing if I'm going to be totally honest with you. Next up we have the Bullet Hell Contact Grenade, which offers the triple prefix of artillery. This firing bullets that deal 3135 damage per second. Which is okay I guess, but again, nothing amazing from this one people. Next up we have the Colossal Exploder, with the triple prefix of large. This one offering plus 60% explosion radius. This I haven't tested much as I don't really see the effects coming in all that useful for anything Zane in reality, but it still shouldn't be overlooked and I mean, Vault Hunters like Moles could probably make more out of this. Next up we have the Drencher Exploder with a triple prefix of rain. This launches up and fires 5 grenades down around it. This grenade actually isn't too bad but I do feel the rain prefix works miles better when paired with other prefixes. Now I will obviously add, looting vending machines like I have, I have come across some incredible grenades which do mix up those prefixes. And those certain grenades I will bring you probably a top 5 or top 10 on so stay tuned for that. I've just found some incredible grenades that work amazingly. Okay so next up we have the most powerful grenade featured today and that is the Gigaton Exploder. This has that triple nuke prefix. This consumes up to 4 grenades increasing damage by 50% each. So that's a possible 200% damage increase. Now I used this for a while and the amount of times I killed myself with this thing was utterly hilarious. This one you throw and take cover, trust me it's absolutely crazy. Next up we have the Jumping Jack Exploder with a triple prefix of Jumper. Jumps 4 times with a plus 20% damage per jump. In my opinion this ain't the best, I actually don't feel the jumping prefix adds much to anything. Next up guys we have the Mimo Graphing Track I believe that says. This has the triple prefix of Divider which splits this grenade into 4 mid flight. Now it sounds better on paper than what this thing actually is for sure people. 
as a grenade I also feature today is miles better than this, and that is this grenade, the Merv Cluster F Exploder. This one having Merv, Merv and Mini Merv. Not exactly a triple prefix, but it still deserves a feature. Now although Holman isn't a part of this grenade, it still spawns like 25 grenades per throw, and it's just utterly crazy and capable of naughty things. So definitely keep an eye out for this one. Okay, so next up we have this grenade, which is quite basic but actually a real powerful one. It's the Swole Grenade, and it's got a triple prefix of Roida, which gives it 50% grenade damage. So yes, this one's quite decent. You chuck it, it explodes, it does damage. No fancy animations or anything like that. Okay, so moving on, and we have the Trust Fund Longbow. Triple money, people, triple money. And if you guys need cash, this is the thing for you. It drops you tons of cash, as you can see on the screen now. Now, I do think there will be a Trust Fund Tracker obtainable somewhere in this game, which obviously tracks targets, making you even more money. That is the one I am still waiting to come across, but it would definitely work better than this one. But this one is still incredible and works great. Okay, so guys, lastly, we have the Vampiric Tracker. And this one has the triple prefix of Transfusion, healing for 100% of damage dealt. Now, it's a great grenade, but there are better legendaries out there that offer you more than this does. But still, this should not be overlooked. And guys, that is it. Those are the items so far I have come across while farming those vending machines. There are still a few I am looking out for, mainly the triple Vega Bond prefix with that sentinel movement speed anointment. So my search for that does continue. But yeah guys, these are the triple prefix items I have found so far while farming vending machines. Some super rare items here people for sure. If you found any that haven't been featured today, let me know. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.